Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about dividing rational algebraic expressions. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to divide rational algebraic expressions. Here are the things that we need to recall. First, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, loss of exponents, operations on integers, multiplying polynomials, factoring polynomials, and for the last, simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Before we proceed on our lesson, let's have first a recall on dividing fractions. So if we have the given a over b divided by c over d, that is equal to a over b times d over c. So simply multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. The result is ad over bc, where b, c, and d is not equal to 0. Now, perform the indicated operations. For number 1, given 3 divided by 3 over 4, first, we're going to multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So we're going to copy the dividend 3, and that is equal to 3 over 1. Then, change the operation division to multiplication and get the reciprocal of the divisor, 3 over 4, and that is equal to 4 over 3. The numerator turn into the denominator and the denominator turn into numerator. Then, factor the numerator and denominator completely so that we can divide or cancel out common factors. So, 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1. Then multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4 over 1. And 4 divided by 1, still we have 4. For number 2, we have 4 over 9 divided by negative 2. So first, we copy the dividend, 4 over 9. Then change the operation, division to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor, negative 2 is equal to negative 2 over 1. And the reciprocal is negative 1 over 2. Then factor the numerator and denominator completely so that we can cancel or divide out the common factors. So the common with 4 and 2 is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Then multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 9 times 1 is equal to 9. So we have negative 2 over 9. And if we have a negative on the numerator, we can also write it aligned on the fraction bar. So we have negative 2 over 9. So either of the two is considered the final answer. For number 3, we have negative 15 over 48 divided by negative 25 over 32. So first, we're going to copy the dividend, negative 15 over 48. Then change the operation division to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. That is equal to 32 over negative 25. Then factor the numerator and denominator completely. So we can cancel out the common factors. So negative 15 and negative 25 have a common factor which is 5. So negative 15 divided by 5 is equal to negative 3. Negative 25 divided by 5 that is equal to negative 5. 32 and 48 have a common factor which is 16. 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2. 48 divided by 16 that is equal to 3. Then multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So we have negative 3 times 2 on the numerator and 3 times negative 5 on the denominator. Now as you notice, we still have a common factor which is 3. Negative 3 divided by 3 that is equal to negative 1. Then multiply the remaining on the numerator negative 1 times 2, we have negative 2 over negative 5. Negative 2 divided by negative 5, that is equal to positive 2 over 5. And that is the final answer. Now, for our lesson, we have dividing rational algebraic expressions. To divide rational expressions, First, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Second, factor the numerator and denominator completely. Third, divide or cancel out common factors. And the last, 
multiply the remaining terms on both numerators and denominators. So if we have the given a over b divided by c over d, that is equal to a over b times d over c, that is equal to a d over b c, where b, c, and d is not equal to zero. For you to understand, let's have the following examples. In number 1, given 3 over 15x divided by 4 over 10x squared. So first, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So we just copy 3 over 15x, then change the operation division to multiplication, then get the reciprocal of the divisor, and that is 10x squared over 4. Then, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So we have 3 over 15x is equal to 3 times 5 times x times 10x squared is equal to 2 times 5 times x times x. All over 4 is equal to 2 times 2. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. So we have 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, x divided by x is equal to 1. And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So on the numerator, we have the remaining x times 1, still we have x. And on the denominator, we have the remaining 2. So we have x over 2 as the final answer. For number 2, we have the given 3n plus 9 all over n squared plus 3n divided by 6 over 2n plus 6. So first, we're going to multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So first, we copy the dividend 3n plus 9 all over n squared plus 3n. Then change division to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. So we have 2n plus 6 all over 6. Then, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So first, we have 3n plus 9 has a common monomial factor which is 3 times the remaining quantity n plus 3. Then, the denominator n squared plus 3n has a common monomial factor which is n times the remaining quantity n plus 3 times 2n plus 6 has also a common monomial factor which is 2 times the remaining quantity n plus 3. Then, the denominator 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. That is a common monomial factor. Then, n plus 3 divided by n plus 3 is also equal to 1. That is a common binomial factor. And, 2 divided by 2 is also equal to 1. And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. On the numerator, we have the remaining n plus 3 times 1, still we have n plus 3. Then on the denominator, we have the remaining n. So the result is n plus 3 all over n. And that is the final answer. Now take note, we cannot cancel n because n is the first term on the binomial on the numerator and n on the denominator is considered a monomial. We only cancel the common factors, not the common terms. For number 3, we have 6x over x squared minus 9 divided by 8 over 4x minus 12. So first, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So first, we copy the dividend 6x over x squared minus 9. Then we change division to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. So we have 4x minus 12 all over 8. Then, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So first, 6x can be factored as 2 times 3 times x. And x squared minus 9 is considered the difference of two squares or DOTS. So the factor is the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 3 times 4x minus 12 has a common monomial factor which is 4 times the remaining quantity x minus 3 and 8 can be factored as 2 times 4. Then, divide or cancel out common factors. So we have 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, and x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 1. 
And for the last, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So on the numerator, we have the remaining 3 times x. And on the denominator, we have the remaining x plus 3. And the result is 3x over x plus 3. And that is the final answer. For number 4, we have 2m cubed plus 16 all over m squared minus 2m plus 4 divided by 3m squared minus m minus 14 all over 4m squared. So first, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So copy first the dividend 2m cubed plus 16 all over m squared minus 2m plus 4. Then change division to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor and it gives us 4m squared over 3m squared minus m minus 14. Then, factor the numerator and denominator completely. So first, we have the common monomial factor on 2m cubed plus 16. And that is 2 times the quantity m cubed plus 8. Still, we can factor m cubed plus 8 because that is considered the sum of 2 cubes. And the factor is, we have the common monomial 2 times the binomial m plus 2 times the trinomial quantity m squared minus 2m plus 4. All over m squared minus 2m plus 4 is a prime and it's not factorable times so for m squared and the denominator is a general trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is greater than 1 so we're going to use the magic x above the x is the ac so we're going to multiply the a which is 3 times the c negative 14 and the result is negative 42 and at the bottom or below the magic x is the coefficient of the middle term which is negative 1. Now, we're going to factor negative 42 if you're going to subtract the difference is negative 1. So we have 7 and 6. Negative is the middle term, negative is the larger absolute value, and positive is the smaller. Then, we're going to divide both factors with the leading coefficient or a which is 3. So negative 7 is not divisible by 3 and they are a prime number so that is the lowest term 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 so the factor is the quantity m plus 2 times the quantity 3m minus 7 then divide or cancel out common factors so we have m plus 2 divided by m plus 2 is equal to 1 m squared minus 2m plus 4 divided by m squared minus 2m plus 4 that is a common trinomial factor that is equal to 1. Then, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. Now, take note we cannot cancel 2 and 4m squared because they are on the same numerator. And on the denominator, we have the remaining 3m minus 7. So, 2 times 4m squared, that is equal to 8m squared over 3m minus 7. For number 5, we have the given quantity r plus 5 cubed all over quantity r minus 3 to the 4th divided by the quantity r plus 5 squared all over r minus 3. So first, we're going to multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. So we just copy the dividend quantity r plus 5 cubed all over quantity r minus 3 to the 4th. Then change division to multiplication, then get the reciprocal of the divisor. And the result is r minus 3 all over the quantity r plus 5 squared. Then we can apply the quotient rule and divide or cancel out common factors. So we have the quantity r plus 5 cubed divided by the quantity r plus 5 squared. We just copy r plus 5, then subtract the exponent 3 minus 2, we have 1. Then cancel r minus 3 divided by quantity r minus 3 to the fourth. We just copy quantity r minus 3 on the denominator, then subtract 4 minus the exponent 1 on the numerator, we have 3. Then, multiply the remaining on both numerators and denominators. So, on the numerator, we have the remaining r plus 5. On the denominator, we have the remaining quantity r minus 3 cubed. So, the result is r plus 5 all over quantity r minus 3 cubed. And that is the final answer.
Now it's your turn to eat yourself. Perform the indicated operations. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!